fairly fatty breast this time. Uh, we have the CC views. There will be a poll, so it can open whenever you want. CC and MLO, fairly fatty breast. I'm going to go to, there's my polling questions. A is normal, B is right, C is left. Pretty straightforward. I'll show you those images again. Pretty fatty, CC and MLO, completely asymptomatic patient. I'm going to just give that a few more seconds. CC and MLO. Okay, the poll is going to close. I'm going to go ahead and show you the TOMOs. We're going to start on the right side. And one thing, uh, people always ask, how much longer does it take to read TOMOs? And I have to say, for a normal fatty breast, it, it's faster than a 2D mammogram, basically, because you can really go through it very quickly uh, without any concern. So uh, we've doubled, more than doubled our volume, and we still stay the same number of hours each day. So uh, most people were correct. 77% said abnormality on the left, so I just gave it away. Um, a was no abnormality, 12% thought no abnormality, and 11% voted for the right. So now the TOMO is running on the right CC, and then uh, we will go over to the MLOs. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to skip the right MLO, uh, because I think we're... Uh, going to need our time. So I'm um, just running the left MLO since I already spilled the beans. I think there is a poll after this one and <laughs> that's going to be really easy since I already said the answer. Sorry about that. Um, uh, yeah, so we can know if you're paying attention, I guess, or not. Okay, I'm going to just run that through again as you do the poll. It's got, I believe, just a few more seconds left on the poll. Pretty fatty breast. We were actually amazed. We thought that uh, TOMA wouldn't add anything to uh, fatty breast uh, evaluation, but we were completely uh, baffled when we found multiple cases where it showed something occult on the 2D. Okay, so the poll is almost over. I'm just going to move forward and reveal the truth. So, yeah, well, a couple of people weren't listening, apparently. So 96% said the left or breast. Here is a, a mass or, a you know, a speculated area in the upper aspect of the left breast. Uh, this was not palpable. Um, pretty clear cut when you could freeze on the one millimeter slice when you're scanning through. It was pretty obvious to see this um, as an architectural distortion. So I didn't do uh, any kind of spot compression views. Uh, here's the 2D where, kind of in retrospect, maybe you could see something, but really on the 3D is when you see the speculated nature of this density. And on the MLO, kind of blends in here. Uh, it's hard to see anything, and yet here you kind of get more of an appearance with this uh, distortion. Uh, so we didn't do spot compression views. I don't think it would have helped at all. Uh, we went straight to ultrasound. Uh, again, the wording would be ultrasound with additional views only if needed. And here at 12 o'clock in the left breast, we did see this irregular hypoechoic area uh, that was biopsied and was a radial scar. Uh, so the point being, even in a fatty breast, I think that distortion was not well appreciated on a 2D image, uh, easily confirmed with ultrasound, and in this case, she refused excision.